Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight some information about the next version of Majisk. This application has been updated to version 29.0, and with it comes a ton of underlying changes as they continue to work on refactoring the code base. Sadly, this means there aren't that many new features or user-facing changes with this version, but it is such a big update that you're going to want to test it out on your device as soon as possible. So, as mentioned, the first item listed here in the change log for this update is the massive code migration and refactoring that the developers have been working on. They don't go into any detail here about what has changed or why, but this normally happens to organize the code better, optimize the tasks that it needs to perform, or just getting it ready for a big update that's coming down the line. If everything goes smoothly, you won't even notice a difference compared to version 28 or 28.1. They've also set up the Majisk application so it can download module zip files that currently use XZ compression. And the Majisk app will now disable animations within the app if you have system animations disabled from within the developer mode menu. Majisk mount received some love with this update as well allowing it to support systemlessly deleting files within modules using blank file nodes. And Majisk INIT had some nice changes as well, with a redesigned process of patching SE policy and the logic used to inject the code. And last up, Majisk SU received the change with version 29.0 of Majisk that offers better TTY slash PTY support. And that stands for teletype and pseudo teletype. So if you're interacting with Majisk through the terminal or something similar, then this version could make things better for you. We aren't seeing major user facing changes with this update to version 29 of Majisk. And in fact, it's actually introduced a bug for previous versions of the Majisk app. So when updating, there seems to be a signature mismatch issue that people are currently dealing with. This bug has been reported and it's also been confirmed by the team as well. We're just waiting for it to be fixed by the developers. So expect to see a version 29.1 of Majisk released in the near future but I'm currently using this version on my Galaxy S23 right now, and it hasn't had any unexpected issues from a typical install. So it seems this is just affecting those who want to upgrade from an older version of the app. So as always, feel free to use the comment section down below to share your thoughts or questions about this update. And remember to give this video a like while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.